And like always, you've completed your mission. Like always? Those words don't come from me. You must know what they say about you here. No, I don't know. Enlighten me. Well, you have kind of a reputation. It's actually rather flattering. What exactly do they say? Oh, you want to know? I didn't think... Simple curiosity, nothing more. Everybody kept saying that Galeb Bazori has been in tough spots before, and that you come through them unscathed. They were right. Don't listen to gossip. Forge your own opinions. Don't worry about it. It's not a natural thing here. It takes some experience. Mens et manus. Mind and hand. That's the MIT motto. One of my teachers used to say that the only way to really learn something is by doing it. You have a lot in common with him. I'm unsure of how I'm supposed to interpret that. It's a compliment. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think your success on the mission could play to our advantage? I mean, for... The Prince will decide your fate when the time comes. Being useful to her can't hurt. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child, Errol Underwood, did he have any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Beryl is very different from you. He always has been. I was... Blind. It won't happen again. Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you... What caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. I'm not one to beat around the bush, especially on a matter like this. So either be frank with me, or be silent. I'm sorry, it's just that it's not easy for me. I'm listening. Beryl asked me to come by and see him. Did you? I didn't think anything bad could happen. I actually thought that- You ignored what I told you. Don't ever do that again. What did he want with you? Nothing. In particular, he wanted to get to know me. He told me about Seattle, the Camarilla. He was just being nice, that's all. Beryl isn't nice. He's dangerous. I'm going to have a word with him. But... Wait here. Just one more, and then you can go rest. All right. Thanks, Ms. Ortiz. Come back soon. A message from Caius. Need you downstairs. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. There's no Both point Caius in hanging around here bothering me. Beryl. It's gonna take me a while. Very well, Mr. Sheridan. Please excuse me. It's all gotta go. I've got cramps. I'm so tired.
I'm sorry, I really don't have time right now. Sheridan knows this city better than anyone. Can you come help us? I don't know how this will all end, but I'd rather not think about it. We're not moving fast enough. Galen, you don't come here often. Sorry, things are a little hectic here, as you can see. What's going on? Code Red. We're destroying all of our files, following protocol. Did you ask for a few hands? Yeah. I keep asking them to send me a couple more people. Even kind would be useful. But apparently there are fires everywhere and it's taking forever. It's a huge undertaking. And of course, Hazel's putting major pressure on me. She's normally a little high-strung, but you can imagine how much worse it's become. It's her job. She's trying to keep us from going down with the ship, no matter the cost. I agree. And you know how much I love Hazel. But it's starting to get hard to manage. My efficiency might be the stuff of legend. But even I make mistakes. How about you? Is everything all right? After last night, who could say that? I mean, you know, your condition. My condition? You know, you're the eldest among us now. Are you worried about me, or the void I'll leave behind? You're an essential asset for the Camarilla. You disappearing now would be one of the worst possible things that can happen to us. It's true that reliability is a virtue in decline. Don't leave us. That's all. For Hazel's sake. I've got my own reasons to stay. I was wondering, what is it like? Do you hear voices? Does it come at you all at once? You're young. You'll see when the time comes. But you won't be able to do much about it. If you can resist, I can resist too. If you say so. Listen to us. Talking about growing old, like mortals do. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the second Inquisition attack. You're the only person here who doesn't seem phased by it. London seems so far away. Now they're here. They're destroying the people we know. I really need to get back to work. Good luck. Hazel can't just ignore me, and then call me in like this. 
Now get out of here before I make your blood boil. Mr. Siaka, you're taking a big risk. Goodbye. What do we do if the hunters show up? Now she's sending you. Run into some trouble with the prince? That's a question to ask Hazel. She's the one who doesn't know what she wants. Did she ask you to do something? She summoned me like a servant. I know she doesn't trust me, even though I don't understand why. She's gone all paranoid Ice Queen, and there's no way I'm gonna let it cost me my head. I don't know how you still put up with her. You owe your place in the Primogen to her. What, you think I don't know that? I've always done my best to keep her from screwing things up. But when she reached out to Hartford? Is there a problem with Hartford? I told Hazel we can't trust them. Do you have any evidence to support what you're suggesting? She doesn't know Dineb the way I do. She wouldn't listen to my warnings. Her plan was bold. Risky is a better adjective. After what happened last night, I'm not sure you realize just how deep the shit we are in goes. And I suppose you have the solution? Maybe. Not that I'm happy about it. There's interesting stuff going on in other places. Boston's not the center of the universe. We don't know who can be trusted. This is no time to leave. If the Prince has kept you in the dark, she must have had a good reason for it. Just look at what happened. Open your eyes, Galeb! The Boston Camarilla is crumbling before our eyes! What are the odds we survive? If you leave now, you're no better than our enemies. You're one to talk. You know what it's like to feel called to be elsewhere. That has nothing to do with this. Salem isn't elsewhere. You won't be any safer there. It's just a starting point. We thaumaturgs will find a way to deal with it. I see that you've planned for everything. I've already lost too much time. You shouldn't waste your time either. If you leave, Hazel will catch up with you. What do you mean? You know, she doesn't like people who have been disloyal, especially now. Hazel doesn't need new enemies. She should be wary. Be careful. Goodbye, Galeb. Galeb, by all... You, here? How extraordinarily rare. To what do I owe the honor? Enough, Beryl. Did you speak with Feng? I'm not one to keep an eye on the comings and goings of your retainers. Did you speak to her? So much fuss about nothing. You'd better confess. Are you threatening me? That's beneath you. You're not an authority on dignity. I ran into her recently, it's true, but we hardly said a word to one another. Stop it right now. I know you saw Fang. Right here. I already told you not to speak to her again. Come again? 
Don't try to deny it. You spoke to her. Fine. She came here. I don't see what the problem is. What exactly is driving you? Unlike you, I don't try to control the lives of those around me. Feng still enjoys a certain degree of freedom, doesn't she? To choose whom she sees? We ran into each other by accident, and we didn't speak for long. I spoke with her. She told me that you summoned her. Summoned? <laughs> Please be serious. I don't summon people. No. That's not your style. I did ask her to stop by. There was no obligation. None whatsoever. And I don't think she regretted our meeting at all. I really don't see the harm in it. It's not your business to understand. I'd really like to, though. I just wanted to give her some advice. To help guide her through this brave, dangerous new world. When it comes to that, I don't think you're doing enough. Am I mistaken? You needn't worry. She's been introduced to everyone. I don't intend to leave her defenseless among the drooling predators skulking in the corners. And she might just surprise you. I'm sure she will. She's worth far more than your estimations. Is she worth more than me? Are you sure you want an answer to that? All right, all right. I never took you for the fatherly sword. But I guess anyone at any age is vulnerable to the winds of change. Your concern for Fang is to your credit. It really is. However, I can't help making comparisons with my own past experiences. You shouldn't. It was long ago, I admit. But I'm still your only child. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. Although I do regret the unfortunate turn our relationship has taken. I'm worried about Fang, honestly. You would worry too if you were in my shoes. I just want to make sure she doesn't go through the same thing I did. The crushing weight of disappointment. The distance. The disdain. Beryl, I... I'm sorry. I made a mistake with you. A mistake? What, pray tell, did you ever do to make things go awry? You dropped me in a hornet's nest and left me to dodge the stings. I've been nothing but alone from the very start. I... You gave up, Caleb. And did you ever once consider fixing your mistake? That's why I'm doing things differently with Fang. I don't want to make the same mistake again. Ah, such eloquence, which never ceases to surprise me. You've always wielded words with such deadly skill. But there is one small detail it seems you have forgotten. You won't be there for her much longer. What? Think about it. You're the oldest person in this city now. It gnaws at you like it does all the elders. You can feel it inside you and it will grow and grow until you finally give in. How long do you think it will be before you leave too? You feel the beckoning, too. You're not much younger than I am. But you're far weaker. I'll be able to resist as long as it takes to finish my work here. But will you? I... I don't know. That's the difference between you and I. I don't doubt. I will stay. If I understand you right, and I think I do, we're of the same mind. With a few minor differences. Is that so? We both want what's best for Fang. So then why can't I see her?
It's quite simple. Either you do what I say, or I'll take more radical measures. There's no need for that. I'm sure we can find common ground. You don't come near Fang again, and I won't tear you limb from limb. I... I was thinking of something a little more... It's non-negotiable. I see. I'll have to settle for that. You'd better. I just wanted to make sure she knew what she was doing here. I didn't think you'd react like this. You didn't think I'd find out. Don't turn this into a witch trial. If I've acted badly, it was with good intentions. But I've heard your message loud and clear. I'll bear it in mind. Just keep your distance, and everything will be fine. Yes, you've made yourself very clear. One more thing. A little bird told me about your operations in South America. My dear sire, for someone I thought had no interest in business, you are remarkably well informed. Nothing can stay hidden from the court forever. Where's the harm in it? Your actions have consequences for the Camarilla that you haven't considered. You could endanger the masquerade. Don't you think you should speak to the prince about it? <laughs> I don't see how my personal business concerns her. She's already having enough trouble getting us out of this mess she's dragged us into. You hold her responsible for this? She's in charge, isn't she? She hosted the party. It's only natural to hold her accountable, isn't it? If the court were to hear what you just said... Ha! <laughs> Do you really think I'm the only one who thinks this? You'd best be going. I wasn't planning on staying. Be sure of that. It's been a pleasure. Please excuse me if I don't see you out. <sighs> I hope he understood this time. He won't get another warning. Caius again. Hmm, they locked it down. Too late to go see him. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. Sorry, Mr. Bazori. Miss Drury's quarters are off limits. What's going on here? Mr. Leto's orders. We've got to clean up. I've seen princes come and go. In Galeb, I was wondering when I'd run into you. Victoria, what a surprise. I didn't know you had decided to walk among us. I'm always where you'd least expect me. It feels like I've been away for ages. Boston has changed so much. The only thing that hasn't changed is your steadfast presence at court. Is that a problem? You know it's not. I'm just surprised, that's all. There's a whole world outside this city, you know? I've had my fill of adventure. I'm not interested in that anymore. You're so boring. The world has changed so much since you last ventured out, Galeb. Then again, it's almost reassuring to find you unchanged. Iverson is lucky she can count on your loyalty. You're a valuable resource, Caleb. Especially in times like these. I'm only doing my duty. <laughs> Ever the cheerful one. So many elders are gone, and yet, here you are. How is it possible? Because I want to. That's all. I enjoy my existence. Why give it up? But you must also feel that force. The insistent calling. 
Night after night. Yes, but unlike so many others, I have a reason to resist. Don't you? I still have some ties that keep me here. I won't leave without having one more child. You are sure taking your time. I'm waiting for the prince's blessing. It shouldn't be long now. Fang will be embraced soon. Fang! Oh yes, I see. She seems charming. Spirited, even. You have a knack for finding true gems. I remember your sire, Jean-Baptiste Avernier, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. I didn't see him at court. I remember he was very popular back in the day. He left with all the others. Oh. I know the two of you were very close. His absence must have left quite the void. The first few years were hard. I had a lot of respect for the man. His departure was like a betrayal to me. He left me alone, in charge of a city without a prince, surrounded by neonates. It was unfair. I understand. You deserve better than that. Not just me. The whole court fell apart when the Anceli disappeared one by one. Building it back up was an ordeal. But you did it, and you should be proud of what you've accomplished. Pride is for the ambitious. I'm just doing my duty. As always. I hadn't heard you were coming to Boston. Indeed. I wouldn't be stuck in this tower if I hadn't gotten wind of your arrangement with Hartford. Well, isn't that a shame? It's not been a complete waste. I met your prince, and I got to see a few old friends. I just hope it's not at the cost of my unlife. My obligations to Hazel kept me away from the court last night. Did I miss anything important? No, nothing much. I ran into Burrell. He was with your charming little protege. I don't like the sound of that. Did you hear their conversation? That would have been very impolite of me. You seem to have met Feng. We had the chance to talk last night. She was pacing the floor while you were gone. I told her to keep quiet. And she did. She's a smart young woman of great consequence. You shouldn't treat her like a child. She's still young and naive. This is the first time she's come with me to court. Really? Well, she's doing very well for a beginner. You should be proud of your apprentice, Caleb. She knows how to behave. I've known children who were less well-mannered. Your own. I embraced some pretty strong personalities. I know how hard it is to let go. I'm not overprotective of her, if that's what you mean. Eh, that's not the impression you give off. I hope you're able to find a balance, or you'll both suffer. Good evening. Goodbye, Caleb. The Prince is ready to see you now. Great.
Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him. And that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. It might be one of our own. That's what I think. It's the most plausible explanation. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. What did you think about Richard Dunham's file? Money that should be going to me seems to go missing whenever he touches it. Richard is far too important to me. I can't afford to upset him now. But if his research doesn't pay off soon, I won't hesitate to show him my disappointment. Did you read Jara Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. Or this, Catapotis. What on earth is it? I've got no idea. It doesn't add up. It seemed important to her. But she's not here to shed any light on it. I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy, but it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. Yes, of course. An abandoned facility just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. And certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? <sighs> How is it you didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. As I've said before, you can count on me. Good. That's what I was hoping you'd say. When the time comes, I won't forget to reward those who've been loyal to me. I won't let you down. What's the plan? They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, they've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. We know where they are. Why go through their warehouse? Charging into Long Island blind would be far too risky. And with a traitor in our midst, I'd rather keep this to a small circle of trusted people, to avoid any other unpleasant surprises.
And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. What do we know about this Stanford? Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly, and don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested. That Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. Your wish is my command. I always knew I could count on you. You're a true ally, a loyal one, a future asset in my primogen. But one thing at a time. Before we get there, I have another favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice, Delson. We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, MM. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across, all right? What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. 
allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. I barely know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. I'm gonna need it. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. Everyone's got their priorities, I guess. It's not like I've been waiting for hours. Oh, please. You're always asking for more space. You're going to complain about me giving you space now? I'm sorry I hoped for a little bit of support from you. You haven't asked for any since you threw me out of your life. Excuse me? What are you talking about? We never- Broke up? It's been 30 years, Amem. What? I don't remember. I- Come on. I get the feeling we need to clear up a few things. <sighs> yeah. Come on, tell me what's going on. The Warlocks. 
I knew their library would leave a mark. They fucked with my head. So, if I understand right, you have no memory of our breakup. None whatsoever. I really thought that we... I mean... You know. There's a reason the Warlocks have a bad reputation. And you said it's been 30 years? More or less. That seems like forever. And then again, the blink of an eye for us. Believe me, it's been a long 30 years. When I was there, with the Tremere, I saw things, glimpses of the past. It was like I was reliving certain episodes of my past. I guess that's what Osborne meant when he told me about the memories. What exactly did you see? I saw my attack with the knights. I need to know. What happened after that? Did they pay for what they did to me? It's a long story, Mem. And it's not really a happy one. That's all the more reason! I want to know what happened. It's my memory, not some game. Exactly. I don't want to see you suffer again. I won't allow it. But it's not your choice. It's not you we're talking about. It's me. I can't just sit here not knowing. I won't tell you a thing. Hilda! Please. I said no. There's no point in insisting. Fine. Whatever you want. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how upsetting it must have been. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I need to take some time to process all of this. The prince is sending me out on another task. I can't screw up. What kind of task? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Fine. I'll just make your life miserable until you spill the beans. Seriously? You know how stubborn I can be when I want something. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well. Let's move on. You're right. You should go get some rest, and do think over what we've discussed. Promise me you'll be careful. I'll try. It's unfortunate, but I understand. You're not used to having kindred pay attention to you. <laughs> but there's been a misunderstanding. You aren't of any importance to me whatsoever. Oh, I... I'm sorry if I led you to believe otherwise. That was not my intention. I'll be leaving now. Farewell, Fang. I expected nothing less of you. Goodbye, Mr. Underwood.
Do you think we have time to just laze around? I'd we better to hurry. Be fast and effective. A direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. Didn't know Hazel was into music. There are faint marks on the wall. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. I get the feeling something's missing. Hazel had another child before Miley? Shit. I had no idea. Seeing as how it ended, I'm not really surprised. I understand better now why Dijon never mentioned his sire. Hazel's always one step ahead. Something moved. So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? That explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. Zori is a loyal dog, and Hazel's got him on a short leash.
Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If Alicia were to find out... I should go. It's gonna be a long night. First, the Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first. Halsey? Yes, Mom. I'm here. have I spent sitting in this armchair for my therapy sessions. Hey, Pumpkin. What are you looking at? The picture... is scary. Come now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No... but... Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know... I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, there are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. And who hurt you. Yes, them. But don't be scared. Mommy's here. I know. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. There you are. But... What on earth is that mark? I ran into an experienced Inquisitor. I was caught off guard. Not a dangerous mission, was it? You brought back a souvenir. I'm still in one piece. That's all that matters. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... The Prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... well... That I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. 
Everyone's petrified. I can sense it. Hazel lost it when she found out. I had a hard time convincing her I was telling the truth. I admit that even I... She's going to ask for your help. I'm sure of it. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Leisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't have a firm grasp of the risks. How could I have guessed that... And to top it off, you didn't bring anyone back to the Prince. You'll become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid! Hazel has become dependent on you. What, with the SI on our doorstep? I don't find it surprising to be afraid. What, with everything they've learned about us? And what they just did? Our prince fears losing her throne more than her head, believe me. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future, to try to influence the course of events. Wait a second. I don't see how my visions can help her. Nor do I. Our visions are nothing more than possible metaphorical futures. And... Excuse me? Pardon me. Dropping the professional jargon, you only see things that could possibly happen. But then why are they so important to her if nothing is certain? Perhaps she wants to see if it's still possible to change the course of events. But they're never very specific. And I hardly remember them. Why is that? All I know is that she's kept me distanced from you a few times to seek your help. Often you didn't have any precise memory of what transpired. Or only partially remembered it. She... Is she manipulating my memory? It would be the best way for her to keep your visions for herself, but I can't be sure of it. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Leisha, Halsey isn't real. What? If not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom! He hates me! You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. Leisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the Prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you! It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar! It's... it's not true! I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you. Each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you. Immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, you, you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the Prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. I'm coming. Leisha, I wanted to thank both of you for- The prince sees me. See, Mom? 
Richard the liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You seem quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. You're really only interested in my visions. You've been manipulating me because you're afraid of the future. Forget what we talked about. I, uh, no, it's nothing. I asked for you because I need your help again. With the SI in Boston, I need to do everything I can to protect us. Yes. And you can help me do that by telling me what the future holds. It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me! Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. I just saw it. We know, Mom. What's going on? Laisha, is Halsey speaking to you? What is she saying? There are too many voices, too many things inside my head. It's, it's too much for me to see what's going to happen. Hmm. Okay. I understand. You've been through a lot. Yes. So I won't insist right now. Take a few hours to rest, and we'll talk later. Thank you, Hazel. <sighs> Damn it. I don't know who to believe anymore. Richard or Hazel? Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. You don't exist. You're just in my head. Please don't leave me. Let me stay with you, Mom. No. Richard is right. I need to get better. Damn it. That hallway again. And my memory loss. Halsey. Oh, shit. I have to find Richard at the Red Salon. He's gonna have to explain this.